Deep in Chile and Patagonia, far from highways, streetlights, and suburbs, a camera waited for pumas. It was part of a wildlife project run by the University of Mabahanas, just one quiet device in a network of camera traps, snapping photos whenever something warm and moving crossed its invisible beam. Between late 2023 and early 2025, those cameras took about 365,000 images. Mostly what you'd expect. Foxes, deer, birds, empty branches swinging in the wind. And then one night in January 2025, three frames came back that weren't any of those things. Instead of animals, the photos showed intense streaks of light slashing down through the darkness bright, sharp, and utterly out of place in an isolated patch of wilderness. No nearby roads. No hikers. No cars. No drones. Just blazing lines in the sky where nothing should be. If this had been a random phone video on the internet, most people would write it off. But this was a scientific project with safeguards, tamper-proof cameras, fixed positions, and no sign of physical interference. And out of hundreds of thousands of images, it only happened those three times. Experts lined up their theories like suspects, a close insect catching the flash, lens reflections, rare atmospheric plasmoids, like natural balls of plasma hanging in the air. Even ball lightning was floated, but the weather conditions that night didn't really support it. Locals pointed to Mapuche folklore stories of bad lights in the wilderness that can lure travelers astray. Physicists compared it to the Hestelin lights in Norway, another place where the sky sometimes does things that don't fit neatly into our textbooks. So far, no explanation fits perfectly. The project is still running. Scientists are planning more monitoring, more fieldwork, more cameras pointed into the dark. We like to imagine the world has been fully mapped, but if we just zoom in far enough on Google Earth, there are no mysteries left. But one unmoving camera in the woods caught something that doesn't add up. And it quietly asks us, if this is what we find when no one is even looking, what else is happening out there when we finally turn all the cameras off?